These are the 50 tips, tricks and secrets that only a fast and intelligent video editor knows. Hello video editors. My name is Sali Ali. Welcome to Sali Tutorials. If you've been using Filmora for a while you'll probably already know a few. But I'm sure there'll be some gems in there that will save you a lot of time and trouble in your projects. So let's move on to the video. 50. Beautify the empty spaces around the video. We often make horizontal videos, but sometimes we even have one of these portrait videos. So we cut it out or black out the area around it in a way that makes the video look ugly. So to beautify the empty area around this video, go to effects and click on it. And inside the effects, type blur in the search bar. You will see a lot of effects here. But you can use basic blur, blur bars, and slant blur effect to beautify the empty area around the video. For example, I drag and drop the basic blur effect into the second track of the timeline. So you can see how easily I filled the area around the video and how nice it looks. Forty nine, the easiest and fastest way to create new empty tracks. If you are going to create one, two or at most three empty tracks, and you go to manage tracks, and then click on open tracks manager, and add one, two or three tracks from here, so let me tell you, it's a long way. This method is only good for adding many tracks but for one, two or three tracks this method is not fast and easy. Let me show you two easy and quick ways to make two or three empty tracks. Click the manage tracks icon and then click Add Video Track. Another way is to drag and drop this video upwards from this track, then you will automatically create an empty track. So I think this method is great for creating a small number of tracks. Forty-eight. Flip Transition in this track I will show you how you can flip any transition. Drag and drop any transition between any two footages. So you can see that I dragged and dropped the erase slide transition. And now we're going to flip this transition. So go to the export button and click on it and then click the export button at the bottom. Click the find target button when the video is exported, and get easy access to the video location. Delete everything from film or timeline. And drag and drop the exported video from this folder to the film or timeline. Click the speed tool. And then click reverse then this video will be reversed. So you can see that we have flipped the transition. This is the only way to flip the transition when you need it. Forty-seven. Pan and Zoom Features Select any footage on the timeline, and click Crop Tool and then open the pan and zoom tab. Here you'll see two frames on the footage, a red frame marked as start, and a light blue frame marked as end. You can select from the four preset options available under the preview section. Zoom in mode, using this option you can zoom in from the larger frame to the smaller blue frame. Zoom out mode. You can also zoom out from the smaller red frame to the larger green frame to show a larger screen. Pan left mode. You can move horizontally from the left red frame to the green frame on the right side. This can be done to follow a subject or move among characters. Pan right mode. Move horizontally from the right red frame to the left green frame. To move from the right frame to the left to showcase other characters and focus on a particular subject. You can swap the start and end area instantly just by clicking the swap button above the OK button. Forty-six. Append all footage to the timeline in one click. Often when we want to add all the footage to the same track in the timeline, 
We drag one by one like this, but this method is not easy. Select all the footage on the media or whatever footage you want, and right click here. And click on append. So you can see that we added all the footage to the timeline in one click. 45, split button. If you don't have this split button showing, click file on the top left side. And then click preferences. Click the editing tab in the preferences. And turn on the split button check below. Click OK. You can see the split button appears. 44, close gap. This is how new editors close the gap between clips. And they move all the clips for one clip, and waste time. The easiest way to close this gap is to right click on the gap. And then click ripple delete. Done. 43, appearance. If you don't like film or as dark mode, film or gives you another option called light mode. As you can see now. To change this appearance, click file on the left side. And then click preferences. And here select the light mode inside the appearance box. OK. Changed. Forty-two. Manage tracks. If you want to make the height of the tracks bigger or smaller, so click on the plus box icon above the tracks. And then inside the adjust track height, you can adjust the height of the tracks. I click on the big. You can see all the layers have bigger with me. Also you can do this normal and small. And if you want to add tracks, click on manage tracks. And then click on Open Track Manager below. Within Track Manager you can add as many layers as you want of the timeline. Both video and audio. And here it gives you the option of placement, where you want to add the track. So I want to add above track 1. And you can add as many tracks as you want to add. Click OK. So you can see I added an empty video track and an empty audio track. You can also manage tracks by right click here. And if you want to delete these empty tracks, click Manage Tracks. And then click on Delete Empty Tracks. 41. Merge Videos. If you want to quickly merge videos, click File on the left side. And inside Import Media, click on the fourth option called Import with Instant Cutter Tool. Instant Cutter has the first trim option. From here you can trim a video if you wish. But I click on the second option merge. Now we have to open the files. Click open files. The number on which the video is, will also open in the cutter on the same number. And if you want to move videos back and forth, change the numbers. For example, if I want to move the middle video to start, I will give it a number of 01. And to move the third video to the second number, I give the number 02. And to bring it to the third number, I give the number 03. Select all videos and click open. You can see that the videos opened in the cutter, at the same number as we gave the numbers. You can play videos from here. Now click the export button below to merge it. You can name the file in the export page. And you can change the folder from here in which you want to say the file. And here you have the option of what to do after saving the video. So I choose the first option, Open Output Folder. Click OK. So you can see that I have the video merged and the folder opens automatically. Let me show you how the video merged. Forty Audio Meter. Meter. This panel is not a part of Filmora's application window by default but it can be switched on or off from the panel submenu, that is located in the view menu. It shows you the audio levels of the left and right channels and enables you to easily detect the portions of the audio tracks on which the audio levels have to be reduced in order to avoid clipping. Single click on this audio meter with the mouse. It will show something like this on the timeline below. And to hide it from the timeline, click on the audio meter icon above again. 
39. Shared Media Today I am going to tell you about the feature of Shared Media, importing the same media each time you start a new project, import it into the Shared Media folder. You can create separate folders for videos, images and music. To make it easier for you to find. To create a folder, click the Add New Folder button at the bottom or press Ctrl plus Alt plus N on your keyboard. I create the first folder and I name this folder My Videos. I will name the second folder My Musics. And I will name the third folder My Images. Now I import video into My Videos folder. Import music to My Musics folder. and import images to my images folder. Hopefully by now you understand that we have created separate folders for images, music and video. And you know how much time it can save us. The footage you imported will still be there. And remember that you have created folders within shared media. 38. Auto Ripple Remove gaps between clips on the timeline with Auto Ripple on. The Auto Ripple feature automatically removes gaps created by removal of the piece of footage from the timeline. The Auto Ripple option is enabled by default. But you can toggle it off and on by clicking on this icon, that is located next to the Manage Tracks icon in the upper left corner of the timeline. Thirty-seven. Add Marker Click on this small Add Marker icon above the timeline. This type of marker is immensely useful if you want to organize the timeline in your project better and to know exactly where every clip you want to use in your video is located at all times. Pressing the M key on your keyboard will also add a marker to your video or audio clip, you'll have to make sure that the playhead is placed at the same spot to which you want to add a marker to. 38. And if you want to delete a marker, right click on the marker, and click delete. 36. Rename. All media assets and folders can be renamed by right-clicking on them and selecting the Rename option from the menu or by pressing the F2 button on the keyboard. <music> 35. Change Language Filmora is software that helps you use it in many languages. By default, Filmora Video Editor is in English. But if you want us to use it in another language, so for that, click File on the left side, and then click Preferences. Open the Languages box inside the General tab here. In this box you will find many languages. Choose the language in which you want to use Film or Video Editor. For example, I choose Spanish. Click OK. You can see that our language has changed to Spanish. 34. Playback Quality Filmora's proxy workflow which is designed to offer you a smoother editing experience even in low-capacity device. Don't forget to set it up. Go to View, and you can set it within playback quality. If your system is weak, you can choose 116, 18, and 14 below. And if your system is fast, you don't have to worry, you can choose full, but I suggest that if you choose 12, it will be great. 33. Playhead Moving One of the wonders of the split button is that if you right-click on it, do you know what will happen? The playhead will moving with your arrow without catching on timeline. That's the secret. 32. Trimming If you drag the clip to the timeline, and you trimming the clips on the timeline. So this method is wrong. Follow this method to avoid the burden of timeline and make it easier for yourself. Double click on the video and the video will play. And start and end as far as you want to trim. These are the two in and out points that you can trim through. 31. And drag after trimming. 31. Render Preview. The playback of high-resolution video files can lag sometimes. Filmora offers a quick way to fix this issue. Your computer will generate rendered versions of the files you placed on the timeline. Click on the Render Preview button that is located in the upper left corner of the Filmora's timeline. 
the render progress bar will pop up on the screen, informing you about how much time remains until the rendering process is completed. This will ensure the smooth playback of video files and visual effects, you add to the timeline. 30. Thumbnail View To set the view thumbnail of the files on the media, click on the view option on the top right side of the media. Here you can enlarge, middle and small the thumbnail size in the thumbnail view list. 29. Media Filter Filter media by video, image, or audio. To filter your files by file type, click on the filter option on the top right side of the media. You can filter your files according to file type here. 28. Project Aspect Ratio If you set the Project Aspect Ratio settings incorrectly when opening the project. So to set it up, click Preview Quality and Display Settings at the bottom of the display screen. From here, you can set the Aspect Ratio of the project. 27. Open Recent Project Recent project are files that have been opened or edited in the recent past. Click File on the top left side, and here on the third option you can see Open Recent. This option allows you to open as many projects as you have recently saved. Click to open a recent project. 26. Detach Audio Want to separate the audio and video track in a video clip to get the music file only? So in this tip you will learn that how to separate audio from video with Filmora. So after drag and drop, now right click the video file you want to extract audio track and select detach audio. Immediately, you'll notice an audio file appears on the audio track. Yes this is the original audio file from the source video. If you don't need the video, you can delete it. So this way you can separate music from any video and use it in any project. Or you can export this music from Filmora and use it for outdoor activities. 25. Beauty Effects If you want us to look beautiful in our video and make your video three times better, today I will tell you about the effects that are present in Filmora, you can use it in any of your projects. Go to Effects and then search here BEAUT. Here you will see both of these beauty effects drag this effect and apply on video. 25. Double click on the video if you want to increase or decrease this effect. Open the Video Effects box. From here you can adjust the alpha. The second is the beauty effect which is so great effect will bring beauty in ugly video. Double click to download the effect. Drag the effect and apply on video then double click on the video and open the beauty effect tab. I would suggest you to use it at a lower level so that the videos look natural and don't look bad. Click on OK. Now you can see the difference in the video. The video looks more beautiful than before. Twenty-four audio keyframes. Add audio to the timeline. Then double-click the audio clip to open the audio control panel and click the keyframe button. For example, I put a lot of keyframes. Now I want to move the audio up and down. Learning these keyframes is a must-have for any video editor. Listen now. So you hear that where the dot is down, the audio volume is down and where the dot is up, the audio volume is up. You must have come up with an idea and now you know where you can use it. And if you want to delete a keyframe, click on that dot. Click on the delete icon above. Deleted. 23. Opacity. Often we don't know the opacity or we don't know how to use it and wonder how it will happen. So let me show you today. Place a video clip in the bottom track and a clip in the top track. Now only one track video can be seen. 
I want videos of both tracks to look lighter. All you have to do is double click on the video. You can see that the default opacity level is 100%. 100% opacity, default, means the contents of the layer are opaque. 0% opacity means completely transparent, the contents of the layer will be invisible, because they are totally transparent. Now you know what happens when video opacity decreases? Guess. 22. Keyboard Shortcuts Make it easy for yourself. How to set up shortcuts? Go to File. Keyboard Shortcuts to see a list of available shortcuts. Click on any shortcut to change it. You won't be able to change it to anything already in use. You can restore the default shortcuts at any time by clicking Restore Defaults. Here you can see that Ctrl plus S is given for Save Project. Let's see what will happen if I write Ctrl plus 1 instead. Click on OK. Add a file to the timeline for testing. Now I press Ctrl plus 1 from the keyboard to see what happens. Working. I'll show you from here. Go to File. Here, Ctrl plus 1 is written in the line of Save Project. So you can change any shortcut in the same way. 21. Add to Favorite something you like or something you use a lot. And you want to make a special place for it. Make it easier and less time consuming, you need to add this item to the Add to Favorites tab. Whether it's sounds, transitions or effects, add them to your favorites and make it easier to find. For example, if I want to add this music to favorites, I click on the red heart emoji icon. You see. This music has been added to favorites. You can add more in the same way. Choose Titles and Add to Favorites. Similarly, select Transitions and Add to Favorites. Also choose Effects and Add to Favorites and then easily find them in the Favorites list. Elements, Split Screen and more. And if you want to remove something from the Favorite list, click on this red heart emoji again and it will be removed from the Favorite list. 20. Remember Shortcuts One of the major benefits of memorizing shortcuts is saving time. For example, I press Ctrl plus I with the help of shortcuts, an order will be executed faster and time will be saved. For example, usually when we save a project, we go to the file and click on Save Project. And when we remember the keyboard shortcut, we press Sample Ctrl plus S and the file is saved. Similarly, there are many keyboard shortcuts that will make your editing much easier. And avoid wasting time. 19. Automatically shut down after work. Everyone wants our computer to shut down automatically after work. Similarly, there is a function in Filmora which is a very great function. Click on Export. Then click the Export button below. Here you will see three options. Sound Reminder means that only one such sound will be played after the video is exported. Shutdown means that the computer will shut down after the video is exported. And do nothing means nothing will happen after the video is exported. So we want the computer to shut down automatically after the video is exported, so now we have to choose shutdown. When the full video is exported, the computer will shut down automatically. 18. Text Styles and Fonts Today I will show you how to turn a simple text title into a great text style and font. Open Titles and add the default title to the timeline. Double click on the title. Enter a name for the title. I write photography. Select a nice style in the presets tab. Double click on a style to select a style. And then change the font. I chose the Invention font. You can see how great it looks. 17. Close Gap Now I split the video to make you understand and create a gap by splitting the video into a few parts. Usually we close the gap between some videos like this but this is the wrong and difficult way. Select the video clips between which you want to close the gap and right click the mouse. Click on close gap. 
or select the video clips and press the shortcut from the keyboard. The shortcut is Alt plus Delete. 16. Quick way for speed. Often when we need to change the speed so we go to the change speed tool and change the speed but it is also a long process. Take advantage of tips and tricks that most people don't know. You can hold the left click of the mouse while pressing the control button and increase or decrease the video speed. You can see the video speed has gone fast. If you want to slow down, drag the video to the right. The video has slowed down. And if you want to reset the speed level, it is normalized from here click on normal. 15. Show, hide and mute the tracks. Use blend mode and mute mode in your videos and learn its benefits today. If I click on the eye of the video layer above, this video will not appear on the display screen. You can see that the video of the second layer is displayed and the video of the top layer is not visible. And if you want to mute the sound or music, etc., click on mute here. And if you want to watch the video of the top layer, check the blended mode of the top layer. 14. Timeline Zoom Sometimes our project has such small clips that it is very difficult to click or move to another place, so for this, clicking on the plus sign above will zoom the timeline and the small clip will look bigger. And clicking the minus button will make the timeline look smaller. And clicking on this button will fit the timeline. 13. Add Freeze Frame You can show your favorite scene by freezing a video to let viewers know your idea easily. Right click on video and go to add freeze frame. Click on add freeze frame. From here you can increase or decrease the freeze frame duration. Or press alt plus F to create another freeze frame. Twelve multiple image durations at once. Often we forget or we don't know that we set the duration for each image and a lot of time is wasted. But let me remind you. Select all images and click on the setting duration. Here you can increase or decrease the duration. You see, I changed the duration of all the images at once. Eleven display settings, zoom display. Sometimes we need to zoom out or zoom the display level. You can use this feature. This is a great feature in Filmora. Clicking on this box with the mouse arrow will move the display. You can see something better by changing the level of the display from here. 10. Use of countdown. There are many types of counting clips. You can download with double click. Split it after each count. You can now add an image or video clip after each count, when you need it. 9. Now all these images have been numbered. 9. Group and ungroup. After adding the timeline, I split it into three parts and group it separately.
you can see, a group by different types. Like landscape and portrait etc. 8. Border effect as setting? Usually we only apply the border effect but do not know its setting. Go to effects and apply the border effect to the video. Then double click on video. And open border settings and video effects. From here you can change the color of the border and adjust the size, blurring, opacity and direction of the border. Seven, startup window. When you open Filmora, you will see a startup window like this. If you do not see this window, I will show you how to show this window at startup, when you launch Filmora. Go to file and click on file. After clicking the file, click preferences. In front of this checkbox you can see that it says, show this startup window when Wondershare Filmora launches. I want to show this startup window, so check this box. And click OK. Now I close Filmora. And then reopen Filmora and see if Filmora will have a startup window show. So you can see that we have a startup window show. If you do not want to see the startup window in Filmora startup, uncheck this box. 6. Quick way to delete effects. Today I am going to show you an easy way to delete effects in Filmora that you may not know or use this trick very little. And that we double click on the video. And then come down here and then open the video effects tab and delete the effects from here which is a waste of time now learn the easy way to delete effects just right click on the video and right here on the top side you can see the delete effect click on it right very easy 5. safe zone this is the trick about safe zone with the help of safe zone you can place any footage on the display screen in the right place to turn on safe zone click the view tab and click show safe zone. This feature of film more is great. By the way, it is not easy to place the video in the correct place, but it is possible through the safe zone. You can see that I put the video straight in different places. This way you can also turn on the safe zone for different purposes. To hide the safe zone, click on the view tab again and click show safe zone. Four, paste in the relevant track. In this trick we will try to explain to you how to copy and then paste in the relevant track. For example, I copy this video and then I want this video to be pasted into the second track. And I paste but this video is pasted in the third track. And the second video is not pasted into the second track as I wish. What do we do wrong here? Here we make the mistake of not selecting the track in which we want to paste video, image etc. When we click on the relevant track, your copied item will be pasted into that track. Hope you understand now. 3. Color Mark In Filmora you can apply color mark for any video clips, images, audio and titles. So over here you can see that I have a bunch of footage on my timeline. And now let's make it easier to select them out and work around with it with even more efficiency. So to do that, you can add in color marks to them. So to add in color marks simply right click on the footage you want to add in color mark to, and then over here you can see that, you can select around a specific color. I wanted to mark this green right here. You can see that it has been marked green. This way you can mark these clips the same or different colors. You can also color mark text titles and audio. Two, clear all keyframes at once, in this trick I am going to show you an easy way to delete all keyframes at once in Filmora, that you may not know or use this trick very little. Once you've inserted all keyframes into the clip, but for some reason you want to delete all of those keyframes. So often we delete each keyframe like this. First we select the keyframe and then delete it. Which is a long way. So here's an easy way to delete all keyframes in one click. Just right click on the footage, after right clicking. You can see clear all keyframes here. Click on it. It's easy. 1. Timeline Snap You can see I have video clips here on the timeline. And if I were to click and drag, what happens is that, you can see that as AI move close to the edge of the clips, it actually snaps in place. To turn off the timeline snap, right click on the timeline. 
and at the bottom you can see, enable timeline snap, click on it. The timeline snap has turned off so if I were to click and drag this, now you can see that it does not snap in place. But if you want the timeline snap back again then you can simply right click, and click on enable timeline snap. I hope you enjoyed these 50 tips, tricks and secrets. Let me know in the comments, which number you liked the most in these tips, tricks and secrets. So if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, keep creating better video with Solid Tutorials. Bye.